What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm on a new RuneScape private server called Zeta PS. I absolutely love this server guys. I've been playing it a lot recently and I just love it. It's a really good server. The owners are great. Uh, they're on like all the time so it's fun talking to them and everything like that. But yeah, and if you guys want to play this server there will be a link in the description below. Go ahead and click it and then you guys can download to be able to play. That's the only way to be able to do it right now so make sure you use that link. Um, they don't have a forum space at the moment again this is a new server and the forms page will be up soon and then also when you guys make your account and get in game make sure you use dot dot referral one to get some free items i think you get like a mystery box and something else which is super nice and then also the first 10 people to message me on discord saying that they joined the server and send me like a screenshot or something or pm me in game and then you guys will also win an additional zeta ps box which gives some really cool items but first thing i'm gonna show you guys is the donator shop just show you kind of the custom items that are in this game and what items you can get because almost all these items in this donator shop you guys can go get so you don't have to donate at all pretty much you can get literally right in here you can get almost every single item besides i think some of these mystery boxes down here but other than that you guys can get everything in here so here are some of the items you guys can see i'm just gonna scroll through this pretty quick we got some perk items which just give you bonus xp which help you level up which is super nice now this one right here i don't think you can really get any of these items yet they will be making it so you guys can turn like regular size into like blood size and everything like that. They're still just in the process of working on that. So there's still a lot of updates to come to the server. So it's definitely going to be nice. Then we got some untradables. Which you can go get the Supreme Void from a monster. And all these mucus. The only thing I don't think you can get is the Infernal Cape right now. Just because they're still working on that as well. And then here's a whole bunch of just like the cosmetics. So you get like party hats and stuff. All the different kinds and so on and so forth but the next thing i'm going to show you guys about this server is the donator zone so if you are donator rank which you don't even have to donate you could get these um money scrolls in game from i think mystery boxes give them and some other chests but they're called like ten dollar scrolls or like fifty dollar scrolls you use them and it gives you like rank so like down here uh, you see like amount donated is 50 i really didn't donate anything to the server yet so I'm already ranked up just from getting money to scroll jobs and it gives you a drop bonus as well which is super nice but once you get at least one which is like a ten dollar scroll you just type in dot dot z dz and then you teleport to the donate area which is super nice I love how this place looks there's a fountain in here you got a bank you got a prayer right there so you can train a whole bunch of trees and everything like that and then you got all these different portals which I'll show you guys in a second but yeah, then you got like skilling zone, so it's definitely nice. And again, you don't even have to donate to get to this. Like they're they do drop money scrolls. I know mystery boxes in this game do, and I've heard a few other places do as well. So there's really no need to donate on this server like at all if you don't want to. Which I personally love about this server. I haven't donated yet, but I might donate just to help out the server a little bit. But yeah, so let's go ahead and look at some of the bosses now. I forgot to show all of these portals in the donor zone, so. If you have donor, you can go in here, you can teleport around the whole game here. We'll just kind of scroll through these also so you guys can see what bosses and stuff are in the game. I you see down here, we got some of like the newer bosses. We got Nightmare in here, which I will definitely show you guys. Void Champion, which is kind of like their own thing. Solik, which is another one. And then the rest of them are basic like monsters that are in RS. These are like, they have literally everything in here. So definitely you go in here, you got like the fight caves, you got the gauntlet in here. Trials of Next, which is super hard, but it's super dope. That's how you get, like, Torba and stuff in this game. Both raids, barrows, pretty much everything all as well. Here's some skilling. Then you got the Wilderness, which just has every single Wilderness teleport you can imagine. And there's even event bosses, which I will show you guys also, because those things are definitely cool. And then pretty much every city teleport that you need. Then over here, you can get to the Thermal Smoke Devil and Nightmare. You could probably, I think it's your own instance, so like you're the only one that's in there, or maybe you could bring in people. But and then also over here, you got the resource area, which you can go to KBD, God Wars, and Corporal Beast. And I think that you could do this to not get kill count, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, so I have all the kill count that I need to kill the bosses. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Bandos because that's my favorite one. 
and then we will go from there and just go around showing you guys the different bosses in this game. Hopefully, I don't need a hammer. So, nope. All right, cool. And also, when you do get any kind of donor rank, you could use dot dot bank, and you could bank literally anywhere. Uh, well, maybe not in this area, but you could bank pretty much anywhere. And then now let's go ahead and go into Bandos. Let's see how hard this is. I've actually never done Bandos in here. And then also I'll give you guys a quick preview of this side. This is probably the best melee weapon in the game right now. And this thing is just ridiculous. Like, look at how I'm hitting right now. Absolutely ridiculous. And it heals you too a little bit. Which is super nice. And it has a drop rate bonus as well, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, so let's go ahead and just go around killing different bosses. And just show you guys some of these bosses and all their everything's coded nicely guys like all the bosses are coded super nice and everything is clean nice looking but let's go ahead and go check out nightmare and some wilderness bosses now so we do have fully working raids on here and tobe which is super nice i love doing it it's not too bad uh either and then also we got nightmare on here which is probably the hardest boss in the game but it's definitely fun to do if you have like a team and everything. Then also we got this Void Champion, which is a custom NPC, which is fun to kill. I love how it looks as well. And then we got the Event Wilderness Bosses, which look dope. Not gonna lie. Okay, so after you kill any of the event bosses in the wilderness, which they will show up in the chat here in this red, like there's Ice Queen, it'll tell you where it is, spotted near East Dragons in 19 Wilderness. And then the event boss, which is in flow 47 so the event boss you can do the dot dot wilderness boss and it will take you to this one these other ones you have to run to but whenever you kill one you'll always get one of these keys um they're named differently but they're the wilderness keys and then you got to go into the teleport you just go to wilderness and you go to the resource area and this is all the way like bound mage bank if you guys don't know so then once you're here all you got to do is run north to this little area right here this little building and then you go inside of it and you click right here on the wilderness chest and it'll give you some pretty cool rewards so you get blood money which is really good you can use that to buy some boxes to give some good items and then there's some scales which will help you upgrade some armor and then also i think in there you can get the money scrolls to get your rank up and also donator tokens i'm pretty sure you can get from in there and then that's like one of the ways that you don't even have to donate you can just get donator tokens and buy whatever gear that you guys want but this is pretty much it for this one guys this is the new runescape private server that i've been playing on zeta ps i absolutely love it i wouldn't be posting a video about it if i don't like playing on it so if you guys want to come play with me make sure you use that link in the description below Without further ado, that's going to do this one, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe, as always. And I'll see you all next time.